And the coronavirus is impacting the data available for creating forecasts. That's because there are fewer flights. Hannah McDonald and Storm 5 meteorologist Heather Mathis explain how it's all connected. The lack of aircrafts that are flying right now because of the coronavirus means less data that they're collecting. Stay at home orders have tanked travel demand worldwide, leaving meteorologists with far fewer eyes in the sky. Not being able to have these aircrafts up as frequently as we have been because of the coronavirus, I mean, it does slow down that progression with technology that, you know, we I'm sure as the weather community is aiming for. Time right now is 720. On a daily basis, the Storm 5 weather team uses a number of tools to build the forecast. Planes help our meteorologists forecast weather in the short term, like tomorrow's weather and the next day's. We are actually able to use sensors and data that are on airplanes that give us some of those profiles so we can see the temperature, the dew point, wind speeds, and we can use that to be able to tell is there dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere? Would that enhance our hail risk, you know, during a severe weather event? Because weather balloons are still being launched multiple times a day, and there are a number of weather observation centers in Middle Tennessee, not all is lost. Meteorologist Heather Mathis says the biggest loss may be the program's expansion. Just 43 airlines contribute, and there are estimated to be 5,000 in the world. Before COVID-19, there was actually a plan in place to try to get more airlines um, contributing and giving this data in. It's data that not only we can use to see the atmosphere, but data that can feed into different computer models as well to help with those computer models becoming more accurate. Now this is the bullseye. If COVID-19 does complicate her job a bit, Heather can handle it. Middle Tennessee weather always keeps me on my toes. I'm Hannah McDonald. Part of the reason why I love forecasting the weather here. News Channel 5.